Hello. Hello, this is General the Joker. And today in story time, it's basically the same. It's basically recorded right after the last story time. Last story time. I'm trying to find the perfect lighting source thing. Yeah, this one looks good. And last story time video I made. And in this episode of General Joker story time, we're going to talk about the day I got diagnosed with autism spectrum diagnose or as it was called when I got my diagnose, um, Asperger. And today I think it's called ASD or autism spectrum diagnose. And this is the story that leading up to it. I'm sorry, but today is going to be a little bit dark video. But I will cut it down. I will not go into devils, but it's kind of my fight with depression and the stuff I went through until I got the autism spectrum diagnosis. And let's start with saying that <clears throat> this story is taking place from 2017 I know 2016 17 maybe yeah it's hard to know it's 2019 now it's 2014 15 I guess when I was 17 years old I'm 23 today, so there you can count it back from the day this video is released. I'm getting 23, the 27th of June, June. also this in a few days. But when I was 17, I had battled depression for around 10, 10 years, I guess. From I was really young. When I was 17, things did not work out for me. I ended up trying to commit suicide. Um, I will not go into the method I did use because here it comes into disclaimers. Even though I'm talking about the subject, because it is a really good big part of this story, really. I did not come down it. If you are in the same situation I was in back then, I will recommend you get help and don't stop before you get help. Because I will not I will not recommend so I will not mention the specific methods how it because I'm trying to keep this as light-headed as possible but let's say that that attempt failed and all the ones that follows also failed obviously because I'm telling the story this day um, but when I when that happened I didn't get a lot of help after that either Yes, I had to go to a psychology, but it didn't really help me. It didn't make things work worse, basically. And it, we start from 17. I start self mutilating worse and worse until I become 18 of age. A few months after I got 18, it's where this story actually taking place. So. When I got 18 years in age, it was three months, I think, after I become 18 years, I was committed to a mental health hospital or a mental hospital uh, where I was for about a half a year. I will not go into devils where I'm stuff because protecting a little bit, but 
It was dark time, I didn't even think, nah, it's nothing wrong, really, because it's what I was told my entire life. After a half a year inside there, in December, I got diagnosed with Asperger or Autism Spectre Diagnose, as I think it is referenced to today, because it was in a chain show, at least in Norway, I think you get as Autism Spectre Diagnose today, instead of Asperger, because I think Asperger has gone out of use with new psychological diagnose book thing um, and it's kind of the story up to today or for a year ago when I got the diagnose I had to start learning myself on a total new uh, from the beginning really that rethink who I act, who, who I really am, what I really is and what I am capable of um, for a starter. So it has been a long road trip for saying at least, it has been a lot of setbacks and I can assure you that today it's not a big problem, it's over a year ago my last attempt on anything stupid, as I will say it is really stupid shit. Um, but the history up to today, I have been spending well over maybe two or three years of my life inside a mental institution of some kind, a mental hospital whatever you want to call it and has it been a road trip yes has it been ups and downs yes but today i am not as depressed as, that. as i was i'm in relatively good health i have a relatively nice surroundings i have relatively Sorry, I'm sweating my fucking head off because because of my microphone, I had to fucking turn off my air conditioner, and and it's freaking hot in Norway. Yeah, but doesn't you know which know was yeah, stop stop there or that? Um, uh, I have had so many attempts that I don't remember the number. But why do I make this video about autism and how I got it? Why do I make it? I make it because I hope my story and what happened to me can be of help to people in the same situation or in a kind of same, same situation, a little different difference a little bit difference between them it will be recognized that but I recognize it will be a little bit different situation but if you are so depressed that you think about starting to self mutilate yourself you really need help of professionals and you should not stop seeking help by professionals before you get it. It's different from countries. I can say I'm kind of lucky I'm living in Norway, but kind of not. It depends on the system of the country, but seek help. It's always worth to seek help. And if you are that close to do yourself seriously harm, please, instead of do it, at least call the police so they know where you are so they can stop you and and they can bring you to help but you seriously need it I know it's dark subject so I'm not joking around with it um, but where did it bring me 
but I had to learn myself to know about myself again. And I know I may seem like a rare, very rare person. And my brain. But let's start. What is uh, autism spectrum diagnosis or Asperger or whatever? Because it is no different between autism and Asperger. In the books, you can get at least high functioning autism. We are not talking low functioning autism because there it is a difference, but all of them is going under the um, autism spectrum diagnosis right now. What is different between an autistic person and a normal person? Because nobody is normal. Everybody has something wrong with them. Nobody is picture perfect normal. To put it right. Ah. A little bit too light. Ah. Better with a little bit darkness. I think it looked better with darkness. But one of the biggest difference is the way the brain works and it's on general because no artist no artistic person or people with Asperger is absolutely equal and act led act the same being the same, everything everybody with this diagnosed has their own problems and their own problems with the diagnosis. Okay, but this is me. One of my problems is depression because of autism, because I'm different. Does it mean I'm stupid? No. I'm, to put it politely, I'm a pretty intelligent person. It's not intelligence that goes on when it comes to autism and those diagnostic. Yes, we can act weird. We can, for example, don't like food that everybody else doesn't want to like. We have kind of a few examples. We are often an autistic person uh, or a people, a person with Asperger is having its interests and the interests she's pretty good in, but it's narrowing kind of into something. And in my case, it is history and computers and operation systems and technology. But for others, it's animals, anything really. We are like bookworms or super intelligence or interested in very narrow fields of stuff that interest us. Uh, kind of, not always, because I will not see myself as interested in oral. I'm in general interested in knowledge. But it's difference about it. We can may seem we are a little bit social awkward, like we don't understand concepts in social norms and stuff like that. That's good. Some does, but some do, some does not. It's talking in general basis. For me, me as an example, I don't understand what sarcasm really is. I use sarcasm all the time, but I do not know what sarcasm is. And I don't either know what left and right is. Um, it confuses me. Yeah, you have to learn. I can't understand it. I can't possibly understand it. But I still work in society, kind of. Uh, on my good days, and some days I just stay in the bed because everything has wrecked. Wrecked. Has wrecking down around my head, and I'm kind of what we can call, call overblasted or really, really tired, sickly tired, really looks like I'm sick. And my brain can't take in, in something, so I'm really overloaded. My brain is really overloaded. And the reason for a lot of that, and it can seem very extreme for a normal person or somebody that has not died, don't have autism. Because in my example, I can flip out for small things that other people would call small things, but for me, it's big things, right? If my 
computer breakdown or or if somebody talks to me in a way I don't like it's it's hard to put the finger on me because it's me that's gonna find out me that kind of say if if I have my this cap set up in a certain way to show you here if somebody was to for example move that icon over there and I will not find it and I will freak the fuck out it's kind of like that and yeah I just move it five six five millimeters on your fucking desktop yeah but it's not very supposed to be and I get kind of angry on it no I don't get angry on that anymore but yeah you see the point see the point I tried to make there and it's a lot of differences some some people with autism or autism spectrum diagnose it's not the social kind of people. They don't like to talk with people they not already know. They don't like to do stuff. Not everybody. We are. Well, I have read some stuff on online about autism and people talking about they have a friend with autism. I think like everybody with autism is like that friend, and ask what to do, and answer simple answer is. No person on earth is alike. It's the same with people that have autism or another disease or a diagnose, diagnose or disease or what you want to call it. None of us is equal. We are all equally worth as humans, but none of us is equal in how things work. Only thing that makes us looking people seems ah oh, you are like that guy or that guy is that we have the diagnose and that can be the only common thing and the reason for it that we kind of can look autism is a behavior disorder i think yes it's a behavior disorder different kind of thing we don't understand the social norms because our brain works different but also it's a positive and a negative with that. The positive side is we have really deteriorated the vision because our brain intensifies, at least in my experience, on smaller stuff and things ordinary people all overlook. An example of it is like if you see some dotted line and they form a circle most normal brain will tell you that say to you that's a circle but we will say that's just a bunch of line that is not connected but it looks like it should be a circle more details that make us more prone to overload our brain with information and it's different from person to person how they react when they are overloaded but one of the, the things I will say is a common trait with it is that we are not as friendly to talk with as we normally is. We try to isolate, isolate or more. We can seem a little bit manic or something. It's different from person to person, but in my case, I can be manic or very depressed or just laying and sleep the whole day. I don't want to be disturbed. So it's a lot of difference between it, but do I use autism as a defense for bad behavior? No, it, I don't use it as a defense, per se, but it in some cases is an explanation when friends start discussion, a discussion with me on the wrong day, I can freak the fuck out. Um, it can be like, and my friend says, why do you freak out? And I'm just, it's the wrong day, I don't understand what you mean with it. And things fly off the wall. Yeah, I know it's a rubbly kind of video, but I hope it is informative.
Another thing I would like to say is if you have autism disease or autism diagnose or autism diagnose, yes, you are different from other people, but you are a unique being and you should not let other people tell you who you are as a person because only you can know yourself as the fullest and in it's things I can't do some other example of autism in my case at least some days I can wash up and wash and clean my entire room other days I don't understand how a bucket and um, bucket and soap work so I can't really clean because I don't know how it works it's kind of hard to explain this so everybody can understand it but let's move on from that thing because it's partly more different things I want to talk about also, now we are finished with the story time video and uh, know some general information about the General Joker channel and why it hasn't been uploaded as much videos on it as usual because yeah you say you are in nice skin, nice shape but it, you almost never upload. The reason for it is because I'm working hard on my webpage. Um, with the name of uh, knuttech.com and the knuttech youtube channel where I talk about technology General Joker is mainly my gaming slash blog channel slash there I talk about my opinions of stuff um, please like and subscribe um, Dislike the video if you want more story content and I may will improve the format of it because currently I'm just uploading the clean video XSplit puts out and in some gaming videos I put in putting it, it through an editing software edit um, movie editing software but this video will be uploaded as all so it's why it's places I normally would cut away in gaming videos still stays in because I feel this is kind of more personal and it's personal to me 